doing? How we doing? Yeah. Yeah. My people, how you doing? All right, all right, listen. Listen, I really want to thank you for taking the time out, coming up here. You wanted to see something, we're going to do something. We're going to do something that you'll never forget that you're going to tell your grandkids about, I guarantee you. Last year, I did an episode where I made an elephant, 9,000 pound Asian elephant. Her name was Ty. I made her disappear, dematerialize into nothingness. Poof, gone. There's only 500 of that specific breed of elephant here in the country. And the problem is, is I made her disappear. So I gotta make her come back. First off, I have a camera here, a spectator's point of view camera. The lovely Janine has that, thank you. Hey mom, how are you? And I need somebody to operate this camera for me. And let's see who that could be right now. Did you ever use this before? I've used them. Yeah? I have, a couple times. Okay. Well, what's your name? My name's Tim. Tim, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chris. You're gonna be able to shoot this any way you want, okay? You have a full access pass. We're on cement ground. Impossible to have any trap doors, nothing above us, and nothing around us. It's an open parking lot. We're going to even create a barrier, a human chain. And I'm going to need about 40 people to help me with that. So come over here and make a human circle. Now you'll notice on the floor we have a big panel over here that basically breaks up into three sections. Over here we have one panel. But 360 degrees around these panels we have people, people that are going to create a human chain and they're going to do that by interlocking their hands right now. Interlock your hands folks for me. Do not under any circumstance let go of your hand. You are to keep your hands interlocked at all times. You also notice that around this impossible conditions there's nothing on the outside. There's nothing. Look, look down there. John, get a shot. Look, there's nothing. There's a wall around the whole perimeter, and we're on the top floor of the parking garage. Now, I want you to raise the back curtain. Keep your hands interlocked. You're going to see impossible conditions. Get a shot. Look, look, nothing over here. No, look, 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 nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Look, look, nothing. Come around here. I want you to see this. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me, look, I want you to see, I want you to close up your panel for me. Close up your panel. We're gonna create a little a shape of a square. Jay, close it up. All right? George, bring up, and Mike, bring it up, bring it up. Look, impossible. And look how quick this is gonna happen. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Let's do it! Never seen anything like it. There's about a hundred feet diameter circle and we're all holding hands. Had our hands held to the person next to us the whole time. The whole time. Never dropped Never our hands. Never dropped our hands. The curtains go up and the curtains come down and there's the, the elephant. elephant. It's where could it come from? I don't know. I don't it know. just is amazing. Obviously there's no way that an elephant uh, could have been hiding anywhere near here. I'm an architect so I know this can't be like you can pop open a door or something. I ran around with him the whole time, filmed everything here. He had me run inside the circle with the camera in my hand and all of a sudden he dropped it and this big 8,000 pound animal is standing right in front of my face. I couldn't believe that. I mean, my mind's freaking out right now. I don't, I mean, there's nothing to explain right now how he did it or nothing. That's a mind freak. It is a mind freak. You call Chris the mind freak. Well, he freaked my mind. <laughs>